so trading progress so yesterday i had went to the loss of negative the balance went to the negative 80 dollars so i had made a big loss yesterday if you can see i had lost in jpy jpy us multiple losses were there so some thing didn't make sense so i made loss so today let's go to first player in GBP AUD. So GBP AUD AUD USD. So here we talked about if it crosses below this, I will take a sell, and I took sell and it hit my stop loss. So currently seeing the market. Is not sure what will do it can go down it doesn't make sense trading this there is not making sense right now next is gpp cad gpp cad usd cad so on daily time frame i can see it has made double bottom with rsi diversion and uh, in GPCAD, there is nothing much we can I can say. USCAD, GPCAD, our for RSI is at the bottom level, and stochastic is below the 20. USCAD <coughs> showing the same thing. Now coming to one hour GBCAD, I can see double bottom with RSI diversion. And in USCAD, so we can take one trade here. Seeing everything in GBCAD, it is more uh, far with the RSI diversion. So moving average. And it is showing RSI diversion, so I will take a risk in GBCAD. So again, it is an up uh, on the top bar. RSI has reached a top level. Even if it is a top level, it can go on going up. So my stop loss is twenty six dollar. Let's make it 100 more pips, $28, $30, cool. My take profit will be 3, 3 is a 9, 1 to 3 ratio. Let's take 1 to 3 ratio. It's here. My next pair is GBP CHF. <coughs> GPCHF, USCHF. So, day before yesterday, I took this buy here. USCHF, what had happened to USCHF? Okay, I exited because the market was again going down. And GPCHF, I hit the stop loss. I took buy somewhere at this level 930 in gbch i have to buy at this level and my stop loss was hit, hit here so and that point only i exited from usdchf so in net i made a loss so what can we do here This still the RSI diversion is very strong in daily time frame in US CHF and GP CHF. <coughs> in day time frame, in GP CHF, made a double bottom here. Here it is like in the middle zone right now in one hour time frame. Even though RSI diversion is used in USD CHF in daily time frame, but in hour 4, it in, in zone, 
in our one RSI is not showing any big movement. So I will go in GBCHF as by. Okay, I don't have any. Oh, did I enter two by? I enter two by. I think there was some network issue and. Okay, I will put one stop loss below around fifty dollar and uh, one C ratio. Next is GBP JPY. <coughs> Yesterday in our one I can I can saw the RSI diversion there. So I took buy in GBJP buy. My loss is eighty seven dollar and my profit is three hundred twenty four three hundred seven. So what had happened uh, day before yesterday the market gave a big bullish candle here in daily time frame in one day the immediate fall so i thought market will go will go down but and here only i lost my all my saving balance so let's bring it to break even point <coughs> I'm not do anything right now. Coming to GBP and JD. GBP and JD is showing a down trend somewhere, and also for our moving average is showing a down trend. GBP and JD and JD USD. Now and JD USD is also showing a down trend. The from here markets try to went up, but it showed a big down. So if I look into GBP and JD daily basis, I can see his double bottom is forming here. But RSI there is no RSI diversion. The most important factor in this is that. And that is USD hour four taking support of moving average. It first broke the moving average, then took the support and making one bullish candle, bullish engulfing. So I'll take a sell from here. Twenty nine means thirty dollar. Three three ninety one is to two ratio. Okay, it is coming at the support uh, level. Here some support is going on. So if I see at this day level, NJDUST, it has made a big candle red. And this morning it tried to go up, but a big bullish has come down. So it is making doji in the first half. So by end of day, it can make doji or something else. Now going to the next pair, GBUST. <coughs> I can see diversion in GBUSD one hour and EURUSD one or both. So this is the biggest good trade. Let me see if I have some margin or not. I have some margin. I will exit one GP CHF. I entered twice mistakenly. Now, if you remember, it's gave a big. Uh, yeah, I took this profit somewhere till here. It's why I took profit till here. I should have waited a little more. So, it can be two case. Market came down, making a channel again, breaking down. It can market came down, making a channel, breaking down. Market came down, breaking a channel, making a channel, breaking down. It can be that case also. So, I'll put one. Buy stop here. 
because I have a doubt. It came, uh, market came down, making change, it will break down. So it can be the case. So my current trading balance is $100. In last three days, I made a loss of $103. The loss is much more if I take the loss of last one week. Last time period. The loss is okay. The loss is one three hundred for this week. Mm -hmm. But I remember I had balance of three hundred something. Okay. So this is the update.